Hi, Pookies. My hair is kind of crazy right now, but me and Maddie are walking downtown. We are doing some shopping. I got some stuff for my friend's birthdays coming up. Now we're at Rennie's. We have another gift for another friend of mine's birthday coming up. Hi hey guys, we're getting food now. I got a broccoli cheese calzone. Maddie got mozzarella sticks. Maddie lost her card for a little bit and we were like, so what the actual fuck just happened? Because we didn't know where it was. So Maddie had gone to a different store to try and find it. And then this nice person that works here comes over and says, did one of you drop a card? It was like the universe freaking now. So we were saved once again. I got chocolate milk and I'm going to be eating more cookies. So I'm absolutely going to be shitting my pants. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. What do you have to share? Um, my makeup is really good today. It's so Thank you, Max, for the getting. Um, I'm wearing my hair in braids. It's different. Now you look so beautiful today. Thank you. Maddie coming in clutch. Look how delicious it looks, guys. Guys, people are coming to our school to film us, and we Actually, look no, oh, like Amish like people now. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. No! <laughs> guys, I'm officially a cult leader. <laughs> Up. Guys, I'm the cult leader and I have this stick that I was blessing all of my people with. I took my cowl off. Oh, are we vlog? Are we are vlog. We are vlog. Hey guys. Hi. We are vlog. It's your favorite vlogger again. Remember me? I look like a sad little bit. I actually feel like I want to. I genuinely need this off because it's so freaking hot. Wait. Like, I was wearing Oh, hi, girlfriend. Oh, so it's actually her. not working, babe. <laughs> Trying to get it off. Because it's probably currently. <laughs> Vlog, I can't. Take this. Emma looks Amish. Amish are so hot. You really like fit it, Emma. Like, yo, Emma's like so Let me give a little outfit. I, guys, I literally, I literally look Amish. But in like a good way. No offense to like Amish people or anything. Oops. <laughs> Yay. I was like, why is he yelling? Guys, we're about to get our pictures done. My hair is kind of frizzy. Mine was always a little frizzy. I, have really I don't think I got. Oh, 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 oh hold on. Was, we'll do the faces. Oh, I, have a, I have a problem with just filling people's boobs. Uh, Give it's it like <laughs> bad. Give it we're doing photos now. Give it a vlog. Hi, vlog. Again. My hair is kind of frizzy, but that's because. Oh, it's cute. Thanks. Yeah. I think my hair is low key wavy. I'm just too lazy to do a wavy routine. Because. I was trying to be weird. There's no way my mom has to be weird. Let me in. Let me in. My girlfriend has we curly hair. We thought that we weren't going to have to take pictures today because we're seniors. But, but they do. freaking do. Apparently it's for like our stupid, like, it's, sorry, I thought I, I had, see. For freaking I eyes. thought I had blue eyeshadow on for a second and I was really scared, but I think it was just the, what the freaking. Freak, sorry. Did you tell them you about your role change? Oh, I am now no longer Vera. I'm Lilith. We play girlfriends. She does let you look at your photos, sir. It's okay. I'm I'm the possibility of being Vera now that she's not oh. at my I, 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 I was I like, look at I was really nervous. Can you make her be around? He was like, <laughs> I we'll see. I, I haven't thought that far ahead. I was like, hours. okay. Anyway, bye. Okay, you're Like, I'm not even touching it. I'm just. That's actually crazy. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Hi, guys. 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 Hi, gu
and met with Maddie for a little bit before they had to work. Now I'm going to Dollar Tree to get some pencils for school and some little like snacks that are only in America. For this foreign exchange student who we became friends with, she's so sweet. Her name's Valerie and she's just, she's wonderful. Um, so I'm gonna get her some snacks that are only in America and see if she likes them. Guys, I got everything that I needed. Um, let me show you. I hope y'all can hear me over the AC. Had to get that shit going because I'm hot. So first thing, I got myself two boxes of mechanical pencils. Um, mechanical pencils, I think, are better than normal wooden pencils. If you disagree, fight with the wall. Then, for things that I got for Valerie that they said were only in America, I got Twizzlers, Peppermint Patties, Gushers, and Cheez-Its. I got original Cheez-Its, and I got white cheddar Cheez-Its. Because me personally, I think the white cheddar cheeses are better. Um, then there were some other things. Um, like they didn't have Tootsie Rolls there. Um, and like they said the Oreos were only in America. But like, I just like, I low-key doubt that. Like I fear if I pull up with Oreos and be like, you've never had one of these before. Like there's a good percent chance that she already has. Like, you know, I don't know. I just feel skeptical that nowhere else has Oreos. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm completely wrong, but that just is suspicious, you know? Also something else that I wanted to just add to this vlog, um, I had posted something like this on my Instagram story, but just, you know, putting this out here into the general world, um, I don't think I'm fully gay. I don't think I'm fully gay, cause I have identified as fully gay for, I don't know, maybe, A year? It could have literally been an entire year that I've identified as gay. I don't know. I really can't even remember the timeline. I think it could be a year. Because I remember I, when I was dating my ex last year, I was like, oh, I think I'm gay. But, um, either way, who fucking cares? I don't think I'm gay. Um, I love men and, you know, I... What happened basically how I started to think about this was like for so long like women would like flirt with me or like something would happen and I would like see a woman and be like oh my god like she's so beautiful but in my head I would just be like Max you're gay Max why are you finding a woman attractive you're literally gay and I was like my I was like why the fuck is my brain like attacking me right now like what the fuck that's so that's just weird that's just like fucking strange bro so um i don't know that label fit me for a while but you know yesterday i started thinking about it because there was this person and i was like you know what maybe i kind of like you who knows i don't even know if i like the person i just know that i want to get to know them more and i don't fucking know who knows who literally who knows nobody knows and nobody should give a fuck okay everybody just like whoever you want to like we're on a floating fucking rock fuck whoever you want to love whoever you want to marry whoever you want to nobody cares no one should care okay nobody should care all right <laughs> that's all i have to say about it because honestly like why is my brain forcing me to try and tell myself no you can't like them because you put yourself in this box so now you have to stay in this box forever the fuck i even remember when i like when i was like no i am gay guys like i'm fully gay i even said to people i was like i wouldn't be surprised if i liked women in the future just right now i'm gay just sexuality is like one of the most fluid things in the world it's just it's so it's so constantly changing so constantly some straight people lucky for you you've never had to feel that way or anything like that but sexuality is such an incredibly fluid thing it's unbelievable i remember in sixth grade i started to like women for those of you that don't know i am trans so i was a girl i 
identified as a girl in sixth grade. So I was like, oh my God, I like girls, guys. Oh my gosh. And I was like freaking out. And um, so that was kind of how it all started for me. Then I liked girls for a really long time. And then in 2020, I started um, realizing stuff about my gender. I was non-binary for a really long time. And I was a lesbian for a really long time. Then I started to be like, no, actually, I think I'm a man. So then I was like a straight man for like a very brief period of time. And then I remember my freshman year of high school, um, I saw this like emo boy and I was like, holy shit, I'm fucking in love with you. Like, I need you. I'm in love with you. I need you. You're everything to me. Okay. It's always the fucking emo boys, I swear. Um, but I was like, I want you bad. So then I was like, okay, I'm not a lesbian. Um, then over time, I just kind of was always with women and I always was super toxic in the relationships. <laughs> I told myself, no, Max, you were really toxic with them because you're gay. No, Max, you need to take responsibility and realize that you were toxic in the relationship because you're fucking toxic. I was toxic for a really long time. It was, like, really bad. Um, holy shit, I'm already talking for four minutes. But I think this is important to say. I think all of this information that I'm saying is important for me to say. Um, yeah, I was really toxic for a while with women that I was dating. And I started to realize that I was, like, I was dating women because they liked me. So I was like, okay, yeah, I like you. But with men, it was kind of like I would date men because I liked them, not because they liked me. And so, I don't know, sexuality is just so fluid. Who gives a fuck? None of it matters at all. This is just my experience. So then I was like, oh my God, yeah, I'm gay. I'm gay. And I, I felt no attraction romantically, anything like that towards a woman for a really long time. And then I saw this girl and I was just like... I don't know what it is. It might, it, it could literally not even be a crush, but either way, I just don't feel comfortable using a label anymore. And I just want to let myself do whatever the fuck I want to and not have to push myself into a place that I'm not comfortable in anymore that I've grown out of. Um, but I was just like, oh my God, like, I just want to be around you as much as possible. And like, I just, I just like genuinely admire her. Like when I'm around her, I just feel like like giggling geeking my feet I'm like oh my god and she's like so funny and so sweet and just so wow so yeah who freaking knows who knows who cares we'll leave it at that I've been talking for almost six minutes now so we're gonna leave it at that but um anyone who is afraid of changing shit like that do whatever is best for you honestly that's how I felt like coming out as trans because I was like, my grandparents are like older. They're not going to understand. They aren't going to like support me, whatever. It was just a lot of fear. And I'm not saying that everybody's grandparents are going to be supportive or everyone's parents are going to be supportive. I was lucky enough to have a mom that has helped me the entire way through. My sister, my aunt and uncle, not my other aunt and uncle, but one of my aunts and uncles, um, my grandparents, they've just all been so wonderful. But now my grandparents say I'm their grandson, you see him pronouns, call me Max, all of it, and you know, at one point I was like, that's never gonna happen, so it's just, it's beautiful how far that they've come, and you know, the point I'm trying to make here is that if you feel that there's something that you want to change, but you're scared about how other people will receive it, you don't need to worry about other people, because the people that really love you and care about you are going to support you blindly no matter what, okay? I was like, oh my God, like I'm so scared to like tell people that like I'm not actually gay and blah, blah, blah. No one gives a fuck. No one cares, bro. Literally no one gives a fuck. Everyone was just like, yeah, I'm happy for you figuring things out. Cause those are like good friends. Those are good family members. Those are good people that understand that everything is fluid and that no one should take anything like that too seriously, you know? So just don't care what others are going to say because I promise the right people are going to accept you and love you and stay and support you no matter what. So do whatever the fuck you want and if someone else doesn't support you, I will. So now I've been talking for almost eight minutes. Um, I'm home now, so that's all I'm going to say. But I love you guys so much and you're all valid as fuck. Guys, X has to trust friends. Hey guys, I broke it. What does it say? Yeah, if they network don't, connection. They can't get it. They can't get it. I don't know. I was like, game theory. What does this mean? Tomorrow, even though it's not as long as last.
it'll still be the same thing that you'll work on in your thesis because after that, then you do it. So it is a B-day tomorrow? Yes, it's a B-day tomorrow. It's a B-day. Okay. Hi, Blog. get other things at the market. Exactly. We're at the Root Down Market. Is that what it's called? And me, my mom and I are having brunch. Yeah.